Hello guys, welcome to Excel series. As we were learning about all the options in Excel, today we will learn about the formula tab and we will learn about the define names category. So this category is very useful because you can give any cell in your worksheet a name or any selection in your worksheet name. So let's understand this with a quick demo. For example, you want to do sum of your monthly sales. What you will do is let's use a shortcut alt equal to do the sum. So what I did here is I pressed alt equal and it has written the formula for me. So here I have B2 to B11 for one to do sum. Sum, then I have to remember that my monthly sales are in cell from B2 to B11. But nobody wants to remember this C2 till B11. I just want to give a name to this. So what I will do is I will delete this and now here I will give this name. So I can go to define name section or create from selection. First let's try to give a name by define name and here you can give name for example sales. So I can remember them and then let the reference give the reference to them. So what I will do is I will select from B2 till B11. Now it say in sheet 3 B2 till B11. And now I will select OK. Now I have given a name to my monthly sales. So here in the name manager you can go and you can see you have a sales name given to your monthly sales. So what I can do is whenever I'm writing any formula I can do equal sum into the bracket i can put sales now it's showing here you can select from here or either you can type it and then close the button and then press enter to do the same thing but now i have only sales here i don't have to remember from b2 till b11 are the sales so i'm using this formula anywhere i can write it anywhere even in vba i can write this i don't have to remember in which column and in which row was my data so i can give them name so you can go to name manager and then you can select it and then delete it so i have deleted it now it's string error here because i have deleted the sales same now let's give the name by using create from selection so if i click on this and let's take the top row and then select okay so let's select our data and go to create selection now create names from values let's do the top row and select okay now if you go to the sales manager you have monthly sales here you can either edit it can only give the name sales or monthly sales but leave it as a monthly sales as you can see here it refers to the same as it referred before so then select ok now we have monthly sales here but this is a bit long so just we will just name it as sales it's easier to type in the formulas and then select ok now if we do the sum again equal sum into sales and then press enter did the same job so you can either give a name from the manager or you can give the name from selection so it's a bit easier to give a name from selection but you have to add it a little bit because if your column name is a bit long so hopefully you understand how to name a selection or a cell in your excel sheet and make your work life easier if you like this video press the like button and follow for more videos like this